People go on and on about how much caffeine is in Mountain Dew, like it's bad for you. But there's actually more caffeine in a cup of coffee than there is in Mountain Dew. So as a healthy alternative, every morning, I pour a little Mountain Dew in my coffee. It's better for you. Hey everybody, it's Andy Woodhull. This week on The Snack Show, we're trying ah. Mountain Dew's Fresh Apple. Ah, apple. Now some people have written in and said that pop shouldn't classify as a snack. And to those people, I say, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, if you're thinking about writing in the comments, it's soda and not pop. You know what? Go f yourself. I say pop, my dad said pop, and my daddy's dad said pop. This Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple is so exclusive, it's only sold at Kroger stores. Specifically, the one by my house on Ocean Park Avenue. No, no f all the Kroger. You can get them at all the, all the Kroger. What's up? I'm hearing from sources that all of the Kroger's have this. Not as exclusive as I thought, but still pretty exclusive. And now a snack show history lesson. A lot of people don't know the history of Mountain Dew. I've done a little research. Mountain Dew was invented in Tennessee and it was originally made to be a mixer for whiskey. So if you're a whiskey aficionado out there, grab some Mountain Dew, uh, pour it in whiskey, give it a try. And you know, if you're a kid, check and see if your mom and dad oh, have some yeah, yeah, and then yeah. why do you keep interrupting? No, it's your parents. I'm not saying that you buy it as a kid. And now for the moment everyone's been waiting for, let's get thrashed. Ooh, don't you love that sound? You know, you see a little dew squirt up from the top. Get this smell. Ooh, yeah. It smells like apples that have been through some stuff. Ooh, you can really smell that yellow number five in this one. You know, there was an urban legend that yellow number five lowers your sperm count, but here's the secret. This also has blue number one. Brings it right back up. Look at that beautiful pour. Light color, kind of greenish. Very apple -y. You know what? I gotta say something before we get into this. Mountain Dew has this reputation that it's so trashy and it's unfair. Mountain Dew is a classy brand. And I think for this taste test, I'm gonna class things up for a change. Gray. Ah, too many snaps. I gotta go back the other, this one. Okay, Gray's fine. Gray's fine. Now that's how a gentleman does the do. Smooth. You gotta open it up, you know? Servant, bring me another can. No, I'm, jo I'm joking, come on. The apple flavor is so distinct, it could probably replace apples in all fall activities. For example, apple picking, bobbing for apples, shooting an apple off someone's head, with a bow and arrow. Come on, come on. You know, all this fancy stuff is great, but if I'm being honest, what Mountain Dew means to me is getting super caffeinated with my friends, going out late at night, and pulling pranks. And I don't think we'd be doing thrash apple Mountain Dew justice unless we pulled a prank here today. Let's get Alex's ass. Snack prank. This is pretty basic, but here's how you pull a prank. Step one. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a bowl, right? Step two. Find an idiot. Hey Alex, you're you're one of the smarter guys I know. Why don't you come on in here? Give this Mountain Dew a try. All right. Come on in. Give it a try. It's good. Thank you. What's That's a good one. Thanks, Andy. Prank. Okay, this has been Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. Thanks for watching. Put in the comments what you want me to try next. Love hearing from you guys. No more going to Target. No more going to Target.